Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. Thank you for still being here if you are still here when I have not uploaded in like a month. Basically, I was just, I was away obviously. I'm sure if you follow me on Instagram, you are aware of that. I was finally on the cruise that I have not stopped talking about in like over a year, so it's finally happened. Um, it was amazing, I loved it. In the run up to going away, I was just super busy and then obviously I was away, so Sorry, this kind of took a back seat. I did actually film a video, but I've had, I was going to say a disaster, that's a slight exaggeration, like in the, the grand scheme of things. Uh, the misfortune of putting the footage from that video, or the memory card with the footage from that video, undoubtedly in a safe place. So obviously I can't find it. Um, but that last video that I filmed was actually the August update for my Project Pan. So the last video that you saw from my Project Pan, and I think that was actually the last video I uploaded, was in August and it had the clips from the end of July for my Project Pan. I did take the clips from the end of August and I did film the video. I had to get up. I did it at like 7 o'clock on a Saturday morning. I remember doing it. Uh, but yeah, I cannot find what I've done with the footage. I've found multiple memory cards, none of them contain it, so uh, I've just had to kind of bite the bullet and say, right, unfortunately we've lost the August update, but here I am with the September update, or the clips from the end of September, obviously it'll be October that this actually goes up in, should be theoretically the 1st of October, if all works out well. So yeah, I'm sorry that it'll kind of jump from July to September, and you won't see August, because I was on holiday for the majority of September, in a way it's probably the best update that it could have happened to because for the things that I didn't take on holiday, there's not a massive difference between August and September updates anyway, so um, you're not really missing all that much for a lot of the products. There's one or two that it would have been very nice to have had the footage, but in the grand scheme of things, it's happened to the best month that it could have happened to. Not that it's ideal that it's happened at all, but it has. So yeah, let's get into the next update which will pick up from the end of September. First off, let's talk about my foundation. Now this is one that hasn't changed very much, so one that it's not too bad that we lost the August footage. Um, because if you remember in the last footage I was saying um, the lid for this was completely screwed on and I couldn't get it off. So one of you had suggested using pliers, so that is what I did. So I've now been able to get it off, but the problem is it also now doesn't go back on. So this now has to live in my house, um, so I'm not using this. I don't get up in the morning and do my makeup before work. I'm not able to travel with this, I tend to do my makeup once I arrive in work, usually on like my morning break if I'm doing makeup for work that day. Sometimes I don't even bother. Um, I have a very, very casual work environment Monday to Friday, so I don't always sit and put makeup on, and if I do, I do it once I'm in work. I don't bother getting up to do it in the morning. But because I now can't really travel with this, because the lid obviously doesn't go back on, it is living in my house. So I can only use this on days when I'm at home now. But as you can see, it did still come down like a tiny little bit in the last month, and there's not very much left. Like if you look at where that bottom mark is versus the actual bottom of the bottle, I think we're going to still finish it within the project, even if I'm only using it at weekends at home. Leading on from my primer, let's talk about my foundation. Now, as I say, I've lost the clip of this, but on August 26th, because I do write the weights down, I know that this was weighing in at 22 grams. So it had lost one gram from my July update where it was 23 grams, it went down to 22. And then for September, I actually thought this would have come down more. I took this on holiday and I got a lot of use out of it on holiday. Um, but it's only come down another 2 grams, it's come down to 20 grams. But having said that, when this entered the project, it was 34 grams. So I have used a lot of this foundation over the year, a lot more than I would have used if I hadn't put it in the project. And we've still got 3 months to go, so I'm still really confident that I will actually finish this. I think at this point, the majority of that grammage is packaging. 
Um, if I don't leave this standing up like this, it's really hard to get out. Um, it is still coming okay as long as I keep it stood up like this, it comes out fine. Um, but I do think it's definitely like, it's down there somewhere. Although this packaging is opaque, or if it's not, there's absolutely no windowing happening. Like I am sometimes really squeezing it and I'm getting that like, you know when like a puff of air comes out with it, um, because there's not enough product to kind of fill what you've pushed out. Does that make sense? That sounds a bit weird, but you know what I'm saying. Um, so I do think we're nearing the end of it and I expect to have it done definitely within the project. Maybe not in the next month or anything, but within the project, this will be finished. Now, part of the reason that I know I use that foundation a lot, even though it only came down two grams since August, is because I used my blush a lot. So, looking at the markings in the back, the most I'd ever used it in one month was 14 times, but last month I actually used it 17 times because I took this on holiday, I used it while I was away, and every day that I used this blush, I used that foundation because I also took the foundation on holiday with me. Um, so, I know I got a good amount more use out both the foundation and the blush than I do on average because my other months have been for this 7, 5, 6, 6, 10, 14, 10, 17. So I've used this considerably more than I would in an average month. My total use on this is now at 75 uses so I've got 25 more to go before I hit my goal of using it 100 times within the project so I'm not worried about hitting the goal of 100 times. I was however hoping that 100 times might have been enough to hit pan and there's still no sign of pan. Now it, it is, as I think I've said before, really worn down at this side but I have been making an effort to try and use it at this side so that I don't wear it into a huge dip and use it quite evenly. Um, so yeah, I'm sure I will use this 100 times but at this point I'm not actually convinced that another 25 times is going to make all that much difference. I think using it 17 times within one month I sort of expected there to be quite a difference and even having lost the footage from last month, so I used it 10 times last month, so there's actually been 27 uses between the July clip, which is the last clip I have of this, and the current clip or the September clip and there's not all that much change in those 27 uses so uh, I am slightly doubtful now that another 25 is going to make all that much of a difference in this but I am sure that I will use it another 25 times so uh, we shall see, we shall see, maybe I'm being ye of little faith here, uh, maybe another 25 will just be what it needs to get a little bit of a pan showing. Um, I, I did want to try and hit pan, I knew I wasn't going to finish it this year but I was hoping for pan. Um, and I I would still like that, but I am definitely starting to to doubt that it's going to happen, unfortunately. In my last update, we rolled out my setting spray, it was finished. And the next item is another thing that we are now rolling out in this update. So two in a row where we got rollouts, which is very exciting. Um, but this is actually one of the products that I really wish I could find that August footage to see the progress on because in July this had like a tiny little pin prick of pan. And I said I was going to keep working on it and try and widen it, which I did for the whole of August and then again for the whole of September. And this is now where that is and it would have been nice to have been able to watch it grow a little bit but uh, unfortunately we're not going to get to see that but this is where we are so a very definite pan which I am really really happy about. Uh, I am now rolling it out because actually right after this I'm going to film my intro to my 12 pans of Christmas project pan which I start filming obviously in September update 1 in October, update 2 in November 
and the finale on Christmas Day. Um, but I will upload them all to my channel in December on the countdown to Christmas. But the work does start now for me, um, although you don't see it until December. So I am leaving this one here because I am putting a highlight into that project pan um, and I don't want to be trying to work on two. I just wanted to hit pan in this so I've done that, I've hit my goal um, and I'm really pleased with the use that I've got out of this this year. So this is where we're leaving it, this one's leaving the project and yeah I'm looking forward to picking back up with this. I think this could come back into my project pan next year um, after, depending on if I hit the goal that I want to hit in my 12 pans of Christmas with the other highlight, um, I could see me returning to this, if not next year, maybe like next year for the 12 pans of Christmas or even the year after, um, because I would actually love to completely finish this. I really enjoyed using it. It's so, so beautiful on the skin. Another item that is leaving the project today is my Kerastase Nectar Thermique. So this has been cut open, it is officially done. So there is no more left in there, it's finished up. I am really, really pleased to have got the use out of this. I've had this for years. I've definitely realised for me I gravitate much more towards spray things for my hair so that, you know, something that I have to put onto my hands, then put into my hair, then go wash my hands. It sounds really silly but I think humans are innately lazy and having to walk to the bathroom and wash my hands before I can then get on with whatever the next step in my routine is. It just, it's, if I can skip that step by using a spray in thing, I will do it. So I tend not to reach for anything that is in like a squeezy tube that needs to be put onto my hands and then put into my hair. I think that's the, the lesson that I'm taking forward is to stick to spray on things for heat protecting. I feel like they're also generally a little bit more lightweight if they're on a sort of spray on formula. So I'm glad to have used this. If I hadn't put it in the project, I'm sure I would have owned it for another 10 years or something before I finished it up. So I'm really glad that I put it in, but I'm also very glad that it's done and that I can put it into my empties and get that little total towards it. The other hair product that is in my project pan is my hair oil. So this is one that actually I didn't take on holiday last month so there really wasn't any change between August and September. I didn't even bother putting a new mark on because it, honestly the amount that it's come down is so minuscule I don't think I could even make a new line. Um, so yeah, this is one that losing the August footage hasn't really mattered too much. I think in terms of where we're at and how much that's come down every month I think at this point I need to accept I'm not finishing this within the project. I was hoping that I would have done but I don't think it's going to happen. However, I'm really glad that I've made all this progress and I feel like I'll finish it early next year. So I'm going to keep using it, see how much more progress that I can make. But I think at this point it will be unlikely that I'm going to actually finish this within the project. The other product that I am not going to finish within the project, not going to happen, is my Fresh Rose Serum, but I did manage to bring that down another little bit, so that's come down really quite consistently, which is good, because I feel like if I hadn't put this in the project, it wouldn't have come down as much as it has done. I really enjoy using this, it's just really rich, so I can only use it a couple of times a week or my skin starts to get really sort of black heady with it, but I do really enjoy it and the thing is, if it wasn't in the project, because it's something that I use sparingly, I probably would forget to use it. So I'm glad that I've put it in the project and that I've had the joy of using it all year. I've got another three months to go, so I'm sure it'll come down another little bit, but let's be honest, like I'm not finishing it. Looking at how much I've used every month, even though I think I will use more of it now that we're kind of going into that colder weather, you know, I'm thinking October, November and December, 
are probably the months that I'm going to get the most use out of this in comparison to like the summer months but even at that we're not going to finish it but I'm enjoying using it and excited to, to keep doing so and see where we end up at the end of the year. One that I definitely will finish within the project is my perfume. So we're now coming down this way with it. Um, so this is where we were in, in August. This is where we are in September. So I'm quite gutted that I lost the August footage because I had a big jump in August. Um, but yeah, not so much in September. Again, I didn't take this on holiday. So I think anything that didn't go away with me got a really like small use this month. Um, but that is where we are. We're here. This is how much is left. I have put perfumes into my 12 pans of Christmas so this is now going to kind of be competing with them for usage but I am hoping that I'll be able to, like if I look at the fact that I used that in one month, like I definitely think I can still finish this within the year as well as finishing the other ones in the 12 pans of Christmas project. I'm still enjoying using it. I think because this is quite a basic kind of white musk smell as well it'll actually mix with the perfumes that I've put in my 12 pans of Christmas because they're all quite kind of easy to wear sort of skin scents. So I think actually they'll mix and they'll complement each other quite well if I end up having to do that to try and get the use out of all of them. So I'm not too worried, this will definitely still get finished within the year. I'm still enjoying using it, it's a really nice one, it is just a white musk. So it's always appropriate, I can wear it to work, it's not offensive. It's not too exciting and I don't think I'd repurchase it, but I will finish it up and I will be excited to have it out of my collection. The last product to update you on is my Sizzly Mask. This is another one that I didn't take on holiday. So at the end of July this was at 29 grams, at the end of August it was at 26 grams and at the end of September it had actually stayed the same from that lost August footage anyway. It was still at 26 grams. Now I do feel like I've used a lot of this and I think I could possibly finish it either this month or next month. I don't think we'll still have this in December. I think there's maybe only like four or five uses at it. It's kind of sitting about here. Um, and there's a little bit of product up the side but I don't know if that will even be usable once I cut it open um, but we shall see but I do think this could be possibly cut open by the next update and then finished at the end of November. And that is everything for my September update for my project pan. So thank you very much for watching this one. I hope you've enjoyed it. As I said, I am about to start filming my 12 pans of Christmas. So if you do like project pan content, do hit the subscribe button because that will be coming your way. And if you want to get caught up in some project pan content, I will leave the playlist for last year's 12 pans of Christmas linked on the end card. So you could go watch that to get an idea of how I use my 12 pounds of Christmas and what I can do in three months. But anyway, thank you very much for watching this one and I will see you in my next one. Bye.